what's going on YouTube, Fleabag Productions. Um, I made this DIY race gate. So, if you want to see how I made it, stay tuned for the video. So, I picked up these lights at a craft store. And when I took it home, I noticed that it has a 2.0 connector. Like... The drone batteries so I said hmm I can make a DIY race gate so I'm gonna show you how to how I made it um, so first you will need you got a 3 8 coupling three sixteenths drill bit with a drill I picked up the tubing from Home Depot. It's a 3 8 tube. It's a clear tube. So what you want to do is when you put the you put one side of the coupling in, you might have to heat it up. Me, I'm just gonna try to stick it on there like that. And once it's in, don't go all the way through, just go halfway and then go on an angle. You can use a razor knife to try to burr it out. Then you get the light. Now, once you drill the hole, you snake the white the wire through through the through the hole and go th right through the hole and it takes a little time just keep feeding it through So once it's through the other end, keep going until you get to the end. Don't tangle the wires. It's a pretty long wire, so just keep feeding it through. Get to the end of the lights into where the regular wire is. You can throw a piece of tape, electrical tape, if you want to hold it on, hold it in place so it don't slide out. And then you grab the access. And then go through the coupling. Go through the coupling. Then you add the other piece to the coupling. Put it on, like I said, if you want to use a heat gun or a little torch. So there you go. That's connected. Now, the button on it. What I did was, all I did was I just took the button out. It's a 2.0 connector. 
I grabbed a SEMA X5C battery. It's a 3.7720 mAh battery. And I gutted the insides out of the box. And I stuck the battery in place. I put the cover back on. So everything slides. Now you won't be using the switch. The switch is no more. And then you plug the wires in when you want to use it. And there you go. It's a race gate.